At my heaviest, I weighed 467 pounds. For the longest time, I thought I was just the fat kid or the fat guy, and that's just how it was gonna be. I was dealing with some issues, you know, of confidence. Like, I never had a girlfriend, but something had to change. I didn't have to be this weight. I could lose this weight. And I've lost 230 pounds. Losing the weight has definitely freed me up with what I can do and just quality of life and my options for life. Tell me how and when you met Kate. Good job, babe. Let's go. Let's go. I was always the fat kid. I was always bigger than other kids, always wearing bigger clothes, having to shop in the men's section before other kids did. When I was 10 years old, my father had a stroke, and unfortunately he did pass away from that. Death was never something I thought, something I thought about, so it came as a pretty big shock to me. And my mother, uh, she'd actually been diagnosed with cancer a couple years prior, and then when I was 15 in 2010, she passed away from the cancer. So when I was at my heaviest, I was 19 years old. I didn't really have a normal day of eating. It was just kind of whatever I was feeling that day. I'd wake up you know, late in the morning, and then I'd immediately go get something bad to eat. And sometimes I'd even stop at a local Chinese buffet on the way home and eat three to four plates there and then go home and then still sometimes eat dinner. Obviously just snack all day, play video games all day, wake up the next day and do it again. <laughs> so to say I was unhealthy at my heaviest would be the understatement of the century. Like I never had a girlfriend. I know I have a history of heart attacks in my family, history of strokes, history of diabetes, high blood pressure. If I'm obese, I'm just, I'm not helping the situation at all. We went to the doctor's office to get checked up on, and when I weighed in, I weighed in at 467 pounds, which was my heaviest weight. That kind of blew my mind when I saw that. That something had to change. I didn't have to be this weight. I could lose this weight. I used to weigh 470 pounds, and over the past four years, I've lost 230 pounds. Right now, I weigh in at around 264 pounds. Obviously, whenever you're very big, um, your body adds a lot of fat and it's gonna expand. Uh, your skin's gonna stretch with that. So once you lose the weight and you start to shrink back, unfortunately, the skin does not shrink with it. It can't go anywhere, so it kind of hangs, as you can see on here, kind of hangs here, hangs here. My waistline's here, but I still got skin hanging right here. So it can get annoying, but at the same time, I love it because it's a better body than I had before. I've lost the weight, and um, it's really something I'm proud of now. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so if it ever got to the point where it was like, a, not just an annoyance, but also like a, giving me medical problems, I would definitely highly consider getting it removed, but I'm at the point now where I'm more proud of it. Yes, it went from just taking walks to actually going to my company gym, uh, where I would do workouts that I found online. I was able to play football again. I was able to play sports. I was able to play pickup soccer. And then after that, I transitioned more into the world of powerlifting. trying to get stronger and more technical with my lifts. I love competing, I'm a very competitive person. And yeah, that's where my love of powerlifting came from. Whenever I lost the weight, I gained a huge amount of confidence. I got more sure of myself, I was much more proud of myself, and I was much more likely to put myself out there. Hey baby. I met Caitlin on Christmas Day of 2018. She posted a picture of a, was a panini shop? Yeah, a and, panini. And I was like, oh, that looks so good. And then... It was got, from, from there. Yep. And then when we met in person, sparks flew and we've just been dating and happy ever since. So I used to be 400 pounds. So when I got to my lowest, I've lost about 250 pounds. We really had that to bind over, which was great. There we go. Good. Joel definitely uh, motivates me to keep with fitness. He's trying to get me to become a power lifter, um, which is something that's not under my belt yet. Oh. 
I command. Good job, babe. I didn't even try to date when I was when I was heavier. And I never dated anybody until I lost all my weight. I was always so scared to make a move. Like I definitely always had a crush on someone, but never had never made. No, a move. you never had a crush on anyone. Oh yeah, me. until her. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, it, it was just like I was almost scared of the rejection because like being over 400 pounds, you almost know that's what's coming. Having Caitlin around has been um, huge for my confidence with my loose skin because, you know, she loves me. She's always always reassured me about, you know, hey, you have nothing to worry about. You know, you, you shouldn't be ashamed of this and step out of my comfort zone and start being more proud of my loose skin, if that makes sense. Joel's skin definitely doesn't bother me. Um, you know, we joke around about it and we're pretty open when we're together, so. I feel like both of us have moved from measuring our progress on the scale to measuring it just by quality of life. No matter what the circumstances are, no matter how heavy you are, you've gone through heartache, anything, whatever is stacked against you, if you put in the work and you want it bad enough, you can do it.